the selected record within the gallery, there is a checked image in the bottom left corner of the screen. Select it and use Control X to cut it in the clipboard. So it's referring to this little check mark here. And if you look at it, it is an image. Okay, so it wants us to cut that. And then it wants us to select the first record of the gallery. That's step two. Select the first row and paste the image with Control V into the template. You should see the image repeated for all the records. So um, I'm just going to hit Control V to paste. There it is. It's, a, it's visible for all the records here. Edit the visible property of your pasted image and enter. Okay, so we'll go down to go down here, find the visible. And so what it want, wants us to do, this item, again, the keyword, this item, refers to the uh, current record within a gallery. And we'll say, is selected. Is selected is a property that's going to return either true or false based on if it's selected or not. So right here, we can see that the first row is selected. Step four, play your app and verify how clicking the records selects them. Explore the text property of the label select a person. I assume that's this down here. Yeah, label select a person. To see how the gallery dot selected allows you to access the selected records properties from the outside of a gallery. So if you look at this label here, if you click on text, it's going to bring up this expression here at the top. The phone number of it refers to this gallery. You see it's, it has a, uh, a green outline here because we clicked on it here dot selected so dot selected is going to be uh it returns a record and that record happens to be whichever one is currently selected you can only have one item in a gallery selected and uh, by default if let's say a gallery was here and it's got data in it and a user opens up a screen with a gallery uh, by default the very first row is going to be the one that's selected there always has to be one row within a gallery um, to be selected okay so and it's going to access a property full name out of that record from the data source and we're splicing together strings it's saying the phone number of alex simmons the currently selected person is and it goes to the gallery goes to the selected row and pulls up the business phone okay so let's go ahead and run it and as they said click on the different uh on the different rows there okay and uh, step five is when we get to the Allison Brown, um, I guess that's the, the visible property that button is tied to this Allison Brown being selected. So we'll go ahead and click on that. Are you feeling overwhelmed with Power Apps? Do you feel there's just so much to learn and you don't know where to start? Lucky for you, Darren has the solution. Discover how you can condense six months of Power Up struggles in just 90 minutes. Click on the link below to learn more about Darren's Power Up Deep Dive Masterclass.